think there is no original Thalsi. I guess my theory was wrong. the Falci can revive itself. If we defeat it enough times, we can exhaust its supply of energy. <laughs> I like it. Let's give it a shot. Must have a core it regenerates from. We can attack that directly. Log! <laughs> you gotta help us. Search the foul sea for its weak point. Kubo? Kubo, Kubo, Kubo! You can do it! Kubo! Kubo! No good, Kubo! Poor little guy. Sorry, Mog. Kubo?
we can do. Mark can't solve everything for us. The machine is manipulating the past. But then, there's no reason we can't either. Please, I hope you're watching this. Huh? Hope! Can you hear me? I've got a bone to pick with you. These machines you built... Sarah! ...are driving me nuts! Huh? You did it, Sarah. But... I didn't do anything. At least... I don't think I did. Sarah, are you all right? Can you hear me? Uh, oh. Cole, oh. I'm alive. Oh. Uh, oh, what a relief. You worry too much, Noel. himself these days. I wonder if it's because he can't remember the future. It's understandable. No one wants to think they'll forget something that's important to them. You know something? When you get mad, you sure do remind me of your sister. Be <laughs> careful. She might be watching, you know. Koopa? We are the Koopa? Koopa? Better future. Koopa, Koopa, Koopa. I'm sure of it.
Sarah and Noel have changed the future. The protofalci that threatened academia is no more, and in the sky floats the 13th Ark. The people have built a society with their own hands, using technology of their own devising. However, the day when Cocoon is prophesized to fall is drawing closer. The Academy has put into motion an ambitious project to avert the catastrophe. We did it. We actually did it. I think you all must be happy now. This is what you wanted to see, wasn't it? Welcome to the future, you say? <laughs> Are they real? <laughs> now is that a polite way to greet old friends? I mean, we haven't seen each other in what? How many years? It's been all of 390 years. I guess you guys have been busy, huh? <laughs> Please come by my headquarters when you get a chance. You're guests of the Academy. <laughs> Alyssa? Later! <laughs> <laughs> Where do we find the Academy head office? It's probably the most impressive looking building. What about that one? We're all said and done. You handled the proto Falci pretty well. What did you do to it, anyway? I sort of have an idea of what happened, but I can't really explain it. It was more of a hunch, really. A hunch? Well, we won, and that's what matters, I guess. I hear academia is the place to be if you love big cities. You can do everything through a touchscreen panel. It's almost like magic, isn't it? I'm magical too. I can open shop anywhere. I can even prove it. See?
accessing the Academy Datanet. You may access the following data files. never mentioned in the histories. Not in the future I came from. We might be getting close to the true timeline. I hope so. But I wonder why we couldn't see it when we were here before. Maybe the proto falci was hiding it from us. But why? People have always looked to the sky for signs of hope. that he invented a machine called a time capsule. That's how they got here. Back in 13 AF, Hope devised a plan to build an artificial Falci. It was called the Proto-Falci Project. He wanted to use the new technology to re-levitate Cocoon. But then one day, Hope saw a certain prophecy in the Oracle Drive. So I activated the Oracle Drive and watched the prophecy. I saw you fighting the Proto-Falci, and I saw you screaming out at me. Your machines are driving me nuts! Well, I was getting pretty ticked off by that point. <laughs> well, exactly. So we were forced to reevaluate the project, and eventually abandon it. Okay, you saw Sarah getting mad at you, so you cancelled your project, and then poof, the proto falci disappeared. Is that about right? We didn't destroy it so much as it never existed in the first place. We were following the wrong path to the future. If the proto falci had managed to get control of Cocoon, it would have made itself the second Eden, and we'd be back where we began. Yeah. It would have been just like how it was on the old Cocoon. We realized we couldn't let that happen. We had to levitate Cocoon using only human technology. Right. Not to mention that if you had kept with the original plan, your machines would have killed you. Really? Then we owe you our lives. Thank you. Funny, you lose your temper and the whole future changes. <laughs> You're dying to know how we came to the future, huh? Kinda. You heard about the time capsule we used? It's a device that slows down time only for its occupants. 
The effect is caused by the creation of a powerful gravitational field and, well, essentially we just slept as the outside world flashed forward into the future. This capsule of yours, it can't take you back, can it? Unfortunately not. And considering it broke down after a single use, I doubt it'll prove to be a popular method of time travel. You risked your own life for the sake of Cocoon. Oh, the director was there with me. Hey, Sarah. After coming to the future myself, I... I think I understand how you must feel. The Academy has welcomed us with open arms, and we can research as we always have, but... Sometimes I get these terrible anxiety attacks. Alyssa... Please, Sarah, you have to let me apologize for the way I treated you in the past. Maybe you can't forgive me for that, but I hope as fellow time travelers, we can face the future on friendly terms. The Academy has made progress on its investigation into the 13th Arc. At this stage, there is good news and there is bad news. Let's hear the good news first. We've discovered that the Ark's reactor is powered by an ore cluster, known as the Graviton Core. By collecting these, there's a possibility that the new cocoon will be up in the sky in no time. That is good news. Yeah, okay. So now you gotta hit us with the bad news. Each ore cluster provides only a certain amount of power. The 13th Ark, for example, requires a single Graviton Core. We're going to need multiple cores that we can't seem to find. Need a hand with the search? If there's one thing we're good at, it's looking for weird objects. We could use the help. With you two on the case, we'll have those cores in no time. I'll put together some data on Graviton cores. Check in with the Academy front desk. Alyssa and I decided to come to the future to observe the 13th Arc, the structure that appears in the sky of this time period. That thing that's floating above us now? Yes. In the end, we abandoned the idea of restoring the old cocoon. Instead, we plan to build an entirely new shell. Of course, there's still the problem of how to keep such a creation airborne. A whole new cocoon. That's an ambitious plan. Sure is. And that's why you're here, to find out what keeps the Ark afloat. Exactly. When we learned of the Ark's appearance through the Oracle Drive, we had to come and see it for ourselves. There are so many important things I need to talk to you two about. So many, in fact, I'm not really sure where to start. stop the crystal pillar from breaking? These 400 years haven't been kind to it. At this rate of erosion, we can expect the pillar to topple within the next century. The prophecy can't be stopped. We're doing what we can to minimize the damage. In the meantime, we'll complete the new cocoon and conduct a full-scale evacuation. Our project will provide a new home for the human race. When the pillar finally breaks, what will happen to Vanille and Fang? We'll save them. The pillar's fall will be catastrophic, but it's also the one chance to free our friends. I hope it works. As do I. I miss Fang's strength and Vanille's smile. Where did your travels take you? 
ended up at a casino called Serendipity. Have you heard of it, Hope? Hmm. There's an ancient legend that mentions a palace by that name. The story itself is incomplete, and nobody knows how it's supposed to end. So it's a paradise that was never finished, huh? Right. But we won't be letting our story end halfway through. We're counting on you to find those Graviton cores. You can view the relevant data at the Academy front desk. We're counting on you to find... Did I tell you? The director is inventing a new device. The Academy has been making progress on the development of a Paradox weapon. A very powerful weapon that feeds on time-distorting energies. Using a Paradox against itself, huh? Exactly. There's a possibility we may come up against the man who appears in the Oracle Drive recordings. The war has already begun, and we're fighting to protect the future itself. A battle to the end against Caius. But, Director, didn't you say you were missing a certain material? A Chaos Crystal. It's a solidified chunk of Paradox energy, but according to the data, it doesn't exist in this time period. Well, hey, you've still got us. And we've got the Historia Crux. I knew I could count on you. Once you've found the crystal, I can build you a prototype. We're counting on you. The technology to raise the new cocoon into the sky is already there. As soon as we have all the Graviton cores, we'll have the power source we need. Alyssa told me all about you. You're helping us find the Graviton cores, isn't that right? And perfect timing. I just got an update with the latest info. Tell me, is this ore stuff really that hard to find? Oh, yes. The Academy have sent survey teams all over the place. They've searched everywhere, but they haven't found a shard of the stuff. But according to this latest data, our scientists use resonance imaging to identify a possible deposit. So we do have a defined location where a team can start looking. But it's just... It's just what? Well, it's kind of in a different time. <laughs> 
Sounds like a job for us, all right. Here, show me that data. Change the future, but it still needs our help. I bet we can find that ore. They need a way to lift the new cocoon into the sky, and we can help them do it. Maybe that's why we've been brought here. Go boat! and miss.
Hey, guys, you're back. Not that you've been away that long. A few hours ago, right? That's when we saw you off, but look at you now. You've changed somehow. Like you've gone through a lot in a short time. So Noah was telling the truth about time travel and all that jazz. Don't tell the townsfolk about it, though. Who knows how they'll react. You gotta be tired. Go home, get some rest. Sunrise to sunset, it's a hard job.